Is it recording? Uh, oh, sorry. Hello. So it's me. I just posted a brand new video regarding chaos cards, that exhilarating carding experience. Well, I had to remaster that. And along with that, can you guess what I'm going to do today? Yes, you, I think you know it already. My first videos did not get that much reception, but I am planning to make them bigger, better, and more scientifically accurate. Welcome to Remastered with Adisha. Cue the music, please. Uh, sorry about that. We just don't have any SFX. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on to the big ones. The digestive system. This is the human digestive system from Biodigital. Uh, it's a 3D model software anyway, so check it out. Now we'll just... Um, you think we can pan here? Okay, anyways, we'll start at the first one, the mouth. The mouth is the beginning of the digestive tract and vital for speech, of course. Fun fact, when you're whispering, if you didn't hear that, the only thing that's being used is your mouth in whispering. Yeah, that's true. You can congratulate me for that if you want to, at least. But, going on, structures of the mouth include the lips, tongue, heart and soft palate, salivary glands, gums, and teeth. The mouth is divided into two sections, the vestibule, located between the cheek and teeth, and the oral cavity proper, which is inside the teeth. Well, yeah, we're only going to get into the basic things. As in the things that really matter. Oh yeah, and Ramadan Kareem, everyone. I'm so sorry that I forgot to uh, congratulate you on uh, starting Ramadan anyways. But Ramadan Kareem, late Ramadan Kareem, sorry. Anyways, back to the topic. So the mouth is what you use for something called chewing. Probably iPad kids won't know that. Am I right? Or am I right? Sorry if that offended you. Uh, that was a bad joke anyways. <laughs> anyways, the mouth is vital for speech, of course. And it's vital for something called chewing and swallowing. Not the mouth is vital for swallowing. The tongue and the that punching bag that's in the back of your mm, mouth. Yeah, there's something called a punching bag in the back of your mouth. Most people don't actually know what it is. And most people actually forget that name. But it starts with a U. Do you know it? If you guessed uvula, you are precisely correct. Man, you're good at anatomy if you guess uvula. That's not even common anyway. On to the salivary glands. They basically produce that mm, substance in your mouth that's like water. It's actually 99% water, 1% enzyme, which do something called destroy food so that, it, so that you can actually swallow it. Yeah. They produce saliva, or informally, spit. Uh, yeah. So, that is all for the salivary glands that you really need to know. On to the next part. The esophagus. Esophagus. It's very close to the windpipe, and basically in the same exact place. But food only takes seven seconds to go straight down. It's usually around 10 inches long and it descends behind the trachea or windpipe 
and in front of the spinal column in the neck because the spinal column houses the spinal cord. And don't get me wrong here, the spinal cord is nearly connected to the spinal column, but do not confuse the two together. Spinal column is a part of your bones. It's a part of your bones or the skeletal system, skeletal muscular system, however you say it. But the spinal cord, as in its name, cord, keep that in mind, it's cord, not spinal column, it's spinal cord. So guess what system is it? It's in the nervous system, of course. The esophagus connects the pharynx, which is immediately located after the mouth or your throat and the stomach. Food only takes seven seconds to get down to the stomach from the esophagus, but after that, no play. Bad. Well, that's all for the esophagus. On to the stomach. The stomach is the main digestive organ in the body, containing something called hydrochloric acid. Not hydrochloric acid in its mm, own spectacle. It's dilute hydrochloric acid. Or as some may say it, gastric juice. Gastric juices. It's made of hydrochloric acid. Dilute, of course, because if it was concentrated, then it would just destroy your entire body. It's that strong, trust me. So the stomach contains... Dilute hydrochloric acid, keep that in mind, and some enzymes. That's all for the stomach. Going on to the liver. Liver is located in the upper right section of the abdomen of the abdominal cavity. Some words are hard to say. Okay, keep that in mind. This will happen a lot. Below the diaphragm and above the stomach. The liver has two lobes. The left and right lobes, which are divided into segments. Well, guess what the liver does? Basically, it's kind of like mm, airport security. So say something comes in, which is just straight up toxic, like alcohol. Sorry, Miss Lynn, I just had to say it. So if alcohol goes into your body, just waltzing in and not even caring about your health, the liver is like, hey, stop right there. We're going to have to break you down because you're toxic. Of course, they don't allow alcohol, like pure alcohol into the body or any form of alcohol. Then what happens? They break down the alcohol. But there's something right below the liver. Can you see it? That thing, a green thing. That is called the gallbladder. It produces not produces, but sends out bile. Something like gastric acid, but mm, a lot weaker, you know, you would have to say. The next part of the system is the small intestine, of course, small intestine. The small intestine is located in the abdomen. It receives partially digested food from the stomach, then secretes digestive enzymes and absorbs nutrients in, as food travels through its holes. In all, the large intestine can be 15 feet or more in length. It has three sections exactly, the duodenum, duodenum, and ileum. It's complex. The duodenum is basically the very start. The jejunum, uh, that's complex, is basically the middle section, and ileum is the very end. Next thing that happens is the large intestine, basically poop makers. Yeah, two words, poop, poop makers. Basically, they suction out all the leftover water, most of it at least and send the food from here to here, to the last part, the rectum. 
you know how that joke comes? Uranus sounds like your anus. Yeah, this is the origin. The rectum's next part is the anus, the very end of the digestive. Now we've basically covered every single part of the digestive system and in summary. Now let's play a small matching game of sorts. So what's this part? This one, the one for the blue one. Is it the salivary glands, the liver, the rectum, or the mouth? If you guess mouth, you are correct. What is this? Salivary glands. Those are the salivary glands. Okay, I'm having a hard time putting this. What is this? The esophagus. What is this? The stomach. This over here. What is that? The liver. What is this? We'll do something simpler. This is a strategy I use in my exams all the time. Do something simpler and you will find out the answer. Since this part isn't the exact same here, we'll go for this. What's this? Small intestine. And now you already know the last two. This is the large intestine and this is the rectum. Good job, everyone. And thanks for watching. Make sure not to forget your digestive system organs. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to share. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Probably coming a few minutes after. Bye-bye. Oops. Where is it? Ah, in here. Ignore that, please. Bye.